Hello friends, my name is Anj and in this video, we are going to be discussing about the solutions for chapter 10 basics of geometry exercise 10.1 of the book New Perfect Composite Mathematics Class 6. So let's get started. So let's start off with the MCQs. So the first question is which of the following statements is wrong? So here they are asking for the incorrect statement, not the correct statement. So let's read the first statement. It says the tip of a sharpened pencil represents a point. So what is a point? A point is basically just a dot. And in mathematics, we represent this dot with a capital letter. So let's say P. Now when we are referring to this point, we say it as point P. Okay. So a tip of a sharpened pencil represents a point? Yes, so yes, it does represent a point. But this is not the correct answer because remember, they are asking for the wrong statement. Let's go to the next statement. Why a stretch between two poles represents a line? Now what is a line? So let's say we have a string instead of a wire and when we stretch it, we get a straight line, right? In mathematics, this line should be represent uh, should go on and on forever in both the directions. So when we draw a line, it will be like this and arrows over here. Okay, this is a line. A line is represented with two points. Now again, we have to give name to these points. So let's uh, give the name A and B for now. So we say this line as line AB. Okay, so why stretch between two poles represents a line? Yes, it does. Wall of a room represents a plane. So if you look at a wall around you, so if you look carefully, it's a plane. But what is a plane? Well, we have these simple two-dimensional shapes like a triangle, a rectangle or a square okay so these are 2d flat right so these shapes are nothing but planes so wall of a room represents a plane yes it does a floor of a room represents a line no it doesn't represent a line at all it represents a plane as well so the incorrect statement over here is option d and that is the right answer Which of the following statements is correct is our next question. Now they are asking for the right statement, not the incorrect statement. So, the first one is the edge of a table represents a point. Now, what is the edge? So here I have a cube, okay? This line over here, okay? This line over here is a edge, okay? And this sharp corner over here, and it's also over here, also over here, 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 and here. They all are corners, okay? Even edges are there at many places in this cube, over here, as I told earlier. Over here, 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 over here. So there are edges in many places in this cube. So, does the edge of a table represent a point? No. Does this line over here represent a point? No, it doesn't. Let's move on to the next thing. The corner of a square represents a point. So, what's a corner? A corner is this. Right? This is a corner. So, does it represent a point? Yes, it does. So, this is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to this. How many points do you need to name a line? So we have, let's say we have a line. Okay, so let's draw one line. Okay. And 
you represent that these go on and on forever we add these arrows okay now how many points do you do we need to name a line as we discussed earlier we just need we just we just need sorry we just need two points to name a line okay minimum two points so for now let's name these points as o and p okay so this is line op so how many points do we need to name a line we just need two points to name a line let's move on to the next question how many lines can you draw passing through a given point okay so let's say we have a point over here okay let's say we have a point over here now we can draw one line over here like this passing through the point okay let's add the arrows okay then we can draw another line passing through the same point and intersecting the first line and like this we can have infinite lines we can have infinite lines okay so what will be the answer for this question how many lines can you draw passing through a given point we can draw many lines passing through a given point so yeah that's the answer for this question let's move on to the next one how many lines can you draw passing through two given points last time we had one point in the last question now we have two points so let's just draw two points over here quickly we will draw one line over here this line is passing through both the points so first let's name these points we'll name them as a and z now can you draw some more lines passing through both the points okay can you draw no right so the answer for this question will be 1 let's move on 